hate not being loved for the person I truly am. They think I'm going to have a bad experience with guys? That's a joke, because I'm 17 and never had a boyfriend. I'm just really upset right now. I'm just wondering if anyone had any helpful advice. Okay. They don't hate you. They just don't understand. Just like the upset parent with their son's possessive homosexual, no puns can be just an example, maybe not a good one. They love you. Don't take it personal. Make it as a joke. Say it like this. Oh, gee, Dad, why don't you dress more like that? Oh, how awesome that would be. God's <laughs> 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 Dad. Who are you going to be 17? Who are you going to be 17? Adult soon, just bear with their craps. But yeah, I am rambling out my nerves. Give them. Bear with my craps, baby. <laughs> I can say it with, uh, with experience, I should never play craps with bears. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, this is uh, Dark Wings. My family act like bitch over my emo or punk clothes. They always act like Jesus religion to rub in my face. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Most of these clothes is actually made from Germany. A lot of people think it was from Devil. Or what? Because I just heard. From Germany. What? They affect to a movie that Vampire Dracula, Frankenstein, <laughs> and anything on TV television was black and white. There is no color at times, so they created new black clothes. God. What? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? No, <laughs> <laughs> he's interested from Germany. You wouldn't understand. I, I think it was about 70s or 80s. But where the goth clothes wasn't, make ya whore. <laughs> it is, as normal, just herself in goth clothes. If her parents act like shit over her, Stand up right in front of them. You don't believe what I said. Then go type Google and prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that Google. Google. Oh. Oh, yeah. Girl, I went through as you did. I for fight for my own right. I kick their ass or disrespect me. <laughs> my father, oh my god, he is crybaby like bullshit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I fight with him in hard as rumble. Yeah, too. <laughs> he always talking about my clothes and me and everything. I finally stand him up and beating him with Pam from Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe who can take two Pam to beat him up? <laughs> Maybe who can? This, this is not my fault. They the one who's starting. Oh. Wow. Wow! Holy shit. My parents were the same way. My dad still has a sneaky display of Corey's. I remind him him legally an adult now, but before I was, I sat down with my mom because she had thought I got it for a t-shirt because of the divorce. And now I had to share my dad with more than just her. I explained to her that if that was the case, I would have started this when they had got divorced six years earlier, but I had found what I had truly liked and was who I was and that I was tired of working so hard to fit in with a bunch of fat staffers, but I had the best friends in the world too, which are now like my sisters and the only people I trust who told me. She thought, she just thought I wouldn't be happy if I wasn't popular and then later we sat down with my dad and had the same talk. My mom also explained that it wasn't like I was going out of myself right into thinking I'd be sad with myself and to think of all the things I had done at my age that I wasn't doing. So they both finally accepted me. Maybe that will work with yours, maybe not. But if not, you're almost 18 unless your parents really want to lose you forever. They had better get over themselves soon. There's no period. That's continuing somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> First, goth, not punk. Second, looks like you come from some poor stuff. What you have to realize is <laughs> what you have to realize is that you are doing what you like. It seems like you can make good personal decisions. Your parents may not like you how you are, but what matters is that you like how you are. Plus, I suggest taking the good of the bad. They haven't disowned with throwing you out. They still feed you. I'm sure you have friends, so not always lost. What the fuck, I, I, I love that it's just like this flat out it's <laughs> You have terrible you're dreams. You're a Keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and now the final response from the vampire girl. Wow, wow, wow. Is this ever old, lol? I've totally gotten over all that BS. <laughs> I've changed into the person I always wanted to be. Thank God. I grew up a hell a lot. Being 18 or 17 or anything had nothing to do with it. It was my mindset, my stupidity and immaturity. So I guess it has something to do with it, lol. Well, a bit now, and I personally think this thread has lost its meaning and could happily be happily deleted. Smiley face! Yes, yeah, I think I'm talking about two frying pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, huh? That's nice to have closure. You're really good. Let's do a vampire girl.
I was playing FFAO 9 for my PS3 and I was in an intense match with Manchester United against Barcelona. Those are the only two teams you can actually win with, but that's another story. Anyway, it's 3-3 going into the 87th minute and my mother starts bitching about how I have to mow the lawn right now. <laughs> Not five minutes, ten minutes, but right now. Apparently, I had been putting it off for a few weeks and it was getting long. <laughs> She bitches so much that I actually have to leave mid-game and get lost. Oh no! And to top it all off, she burned the pizza today and gave me twenty dollars for mowing lawn when I usually get forty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to burn it. I can't wait for you to burn it to start again, so I have an excuse to not have to be asleep. Yes. <laughs> playing in test in FFA. Mom bitches about mowing the lawn, lose game, get paid half hours to do poorly. Oh no! Signature. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Gone. <laughs> I don't think I'm lying. I you said that. Yeah, you think you might be confusing Dr. Papa Gandhi. Hey, no, no, okay. It's actually very stupid. Dude, it's Jimmy Gandhi. He gives me my dog back. Actually, I gotta say the call the responses have really made the thread worthwhile, even if they're not worth reading. No, that, that post is just fucking. That's ridiculous. Um, it's like number four. What about a suit you bitch? You're the pizza. But at least you did not get a blue job from a dude from that. Yeah, that was for real. Is that a standard run? I always get that on my hand. It's not fun. But, but look, he's still, he's, he's like this and he's in freaking college. He's not growing up. Since you're mowing the lawn, here for a blow job. I mean, she hates you for getting a blow job from a dude. My acquaintance. I figured it out. Why I feel so sad when I watch movies and anime where people lost people they love or care about. Six years ago, my brother was murdered in cold blood. Oh. It hurt so bad, I didn't release it, but it hard. <laughs> a bigger effect on me than I thought. I no longer get close to people fopper that reach a low fear of being hurt yet again. I blockied myself from everything and distanced myself from all my friends and family. It hurts watching shows and anime and such lost people, it kills me. I just saw it would like this, so I would never forget my weakness. Wait, 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 after that paragraph, you know, I am feeling bad for you. Let's have a sexy party. <laughs> <laughs> Sympathy sexy party! I'd like to point out that before he is the most active in his fantasy roleplay. I was going to have a fantasy roleplay. <laughs> so I guess he started, like, this uh, exchange, uh, like, cumulative form story that each person adds a paragraph or something. Uh -huh. And I would like to read, uh, I have a okay, thing, but I would like to read uh, a Full Metal Wars entry. Uh, I go over and sniff the new person that is now a cat. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why? I lift my leg and peed on her. <laughs> I bet they that down. I have a feeling that we are going to be traveling together. This puppet master has brought six of us here for some reason. Have you heard the name before? I look up and sniff the air. I say we travel south. The smell of death is coming from the north. I stretch out and start heading south. I look back. You might want to come with. I have a feeling we will be eight alive if we part ways. I drag my tail and I continue to walk south. <laughs> wow. Well, if you don't love you, come with me. <laughs> you, you smell like me. Let's go. Life. Life. Birthday, 1991. Who cares about the date? Rank is fledgling. This is the poem titled Crazy House. My body is still when hearing screams at night. My eyes are wide open. Open. This is such fright. My heart stops beating while my mind's still breathing. I look at the mouse. He says to me, you're crazy. This is the crazy house. <laughs> I lay in darkness. It comforts me for a while. Till I wake to the shower's end. Everyone's around. Watching your every move like a hawk in the sky. To see if you're stronger enough. Will you live? Will you die? I gaze at the people around me with my head held high. Because I know I'm not crazy. But yet I'm in a crazy house. <laughs> Sweet. So the, so the rifle scheme is. Oh, there's tears. Oh my god. 
The tears run down my face as they strap me down. I spit on them, then they slap me around. I wake up. <laughs> oh, how funny it is. I guess I am crazy, living in this crazy house. Oh. <laughs> oh, see. God, slapstick. The rhyme scheme of the subway is this A, B, C, 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 D. The strange thing was that started out as just a dirty little rip on a bathroom wall. That's the <laughs> Okay, um, we got we got two more of uh, Luna Death Kiss's poetry. Um, this is the second. Um, I hope you like Lipsies. Oh no, we definitely just this one is sad. Um, oh, it doesn't have a title. This poem. No, it's called Double Ellipses. Yeah, it's it's six points. You gotta you gotta you gotta get a mentor for having an accurate title. That's true. You don't want you to get into at this point. Okay, so apparently this is called dot 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 dot. My love. Leaving <laughs> doesn't love me no more. Broken? I'm broken hearted. You don't want me. Don't even care. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yes, I'm crying. No, 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 no. I feel so sad. No, 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 no. So damn bad. No, 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 no. Walking in? No, 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 no. Back? No, 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 no. All our memories have just away, dot, dot. What's their pain? No more of you and me. <laughs> now I want you to run away from me. <laughs> and do something better. <laughs> I think that I can't live on. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that I never fell in love. Come <laughs> <Go> on. <laughs> I. <laughs> You're free. No, 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 Okay, so the last one had uh, ellipses. Uh, this is our last poem poetry to a deaf kiss with more, let's say, unconventional uh, punctuation. This is a poem that I wrote a long time ago, but I would say it's only for girls, blah, But anyways, dot, 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 smiley face, it's a Christian poem. Okay. I wrote it when I was a Christian. Yay! Ask to take that guy. Scroll one Excuse me, I'm getting my poem. Guys, shut the fuck up, guys! Wait, hold on, hold on. She likes monster? <laughs> I like monster. I should mess with her. 
Yeah, totally. Judging from that past paragraph, though, I bet she also likes having her own crap. <laughs> Just like, I, hate, I hate backstabbers that pretend to be your friend, but they are using you to get something. I also hate sluts! <laughs> oh. PPLE, yeah. who watch porn, liars, hugs. <laughs> Those are her likes, too. <laughs> hugs, expect from, like, kisses, expect from people I like. People who think they are better than everyone. People who don't know what the real world is like. Close-minded people! Most of all, I hate it when I feel left out of something. Or not cared about, just not to sit there like a good guy and no one cares about you. Yeah, it's a pleasure I've known her my whole life. Oh, I she just loves kisses unless they're from people that she likes, so there's a whole lot of people just running up and kissing her at all times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what happens. But, yeah, I, I am very pessimistic, and I am shy around the people I like. That is when I blush in nerves and want to hinge in a dark corner. I'm a very friendly person when people can know me because I show vicious love. That is what I call it when I smile for a long time. I tend to get obvious. I'm always getting obvious. It was for a quick second while you were while you were reading. I turned on uh, Front Two Four Two and then had both playing at the same time. I'm just saying, as an ending note, it worked quite well. Yeah, it's, you know, Headhunter is the, uh, it's the soundtrack. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't. I can't let this one go. Yeah, please help, help me choose. Help me choose. Should I get one the skirt? Uh, don't pick. Two the pants. Not topic. Three the skirt. Not topic. And get the pants from Walmart. I think the pants from Walmart. Absolutely. Yeah, it ties it all together. I think that's actually enough for that. You know it's not. <laughs> oh, should I, do I? Okay, here's the problemi. I, <laughs> sorry, here's the problemi. Have to wear pants because of orchestra, but my teacher brought, brought a towel in so I could wear a skirt. But here's the catch. Wait. I don't want to be stared at and have people's eyes missing over, and I hate it when people stare at me. Help me out, what I should get. Yes. What, what, the, what the hell is I it would, with extraordinarily fat objects and orchestra? Yes, I would give you a link, but it could how to. What the hell is happening? <laughs> well, you know the best. You know the actual ideal best way to express your pain and grief at being human. A tuba. What was that thing with the towel? Yeah. You see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what So big. Man, I've been going through so many different emotions lately and thinking about death almost every day. I'm turning 17 years old in November, and I feel like I failed my teenage years, and I just can't take it. Did you test on teenage? Yes. I have no it's real friends at home, but if you at school, I'm so insecure about myself. It's because of the size of my head. It's affected the way I've lived. I'm about 5 foot 8, and the size of my head is kind of big for my body. I've been made fun of my entire life from elementary and middle school. It never really bothered me in elementary and middle school, but it has deeply affected me through my high school years. I've been called Big Head a few times, and it really hurts me inside. Jesus, that's the best they can come up with is Big Head. <laughs> this is some scathing shit. Yeah. Whenever I walk through the hallways, I get stares from people, and I start going crazy, and I ask myself, where are they staring at me because they notice I had a disproportional sized head? I barely spoke to any girls at all in high school because I'm afraid that they will think I'm a freak or something because my head looks big. <laughs> I'm afraid to go outside anymore because I always get the feeling of people staring at my head. Friends from school and I don't know, but it's like they don't see the size of my head and haven't really been fun of me or called me big head, so I feel comfortable around them. But when I walk by myself in the hallways, I feel like everyone is looking at me all the time. <laughs> I get depressed every day because I look at everyone else and everyone looks so horrible, and I'm the only one with the biggest head. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have freaking macrocephaly or disproportionalizes as a dad, then I would be more confident in myself. But I just don't. I was thinking maybe I could hide the sides of my head by growing out my hair, but I think it will just make my head look even bigger. Well, because you know that guy's got like the, the afro thing going on. No, guaranteed. I'm assuming he looks just like his uh, avatar, his bones, thugs, and harmony. No, it's like, he looks like a snowman. It's like, it's like his head is a big circle, and then his afro is a slightly smaller circle, and then there's a hat on top of that. And his, and his nose is a carrot. Well, yes. And of course, his body's a bigger circle. Ever since high school, I've been thinking suicide. In the past couple weeks, I've been thinking about suicide even more. But I just can't do it because I love my family too much. I don't want to leave them. Blah, blah, blah. Pussy. My little brother is probably the only person who's prevented me from committing suicide because I love him too much to leave him. 
The only reason I continue to live is because of him. But it's so hard when you're lonely and depressed. So the responses to the actual forum uh, aren't golden, but um, uh, Jack Chick, um, I found this, which is a response to him in another place. Um, read the post by Forby King. Forby King. Forby, Forby King. Dude, I feel just like you. I thought of killing myself too. Yay! Oh. And I got the big, 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 biggest, largest head in the world. I'm in high school too, and people stare and talk about me too. I can't capital W wear hats because of my head size. I can't really get a girl because the first thing they look at is my big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> People have always made fun of my head when I was little. When I was in grammar school, it didn't really bother me. But now that I'm in high school, that's the only thing I think about. Sometimes I wish I was never born. Because of my head size, I am forced to live a different lifestyle than normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I hate living outside because I am afraid people are talking about me and staring at me. Sometimes I wish God would have given me something else like a big nose or big ears. But I feel if have been cursed with a really big head. <laughs> I always wanted to be normal. I always tried high school, girls, friends, and happiness I always wanted. But now I realize that will never happen. Or And Crazy Teen responds. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, for, for a little while there, I was like, I was like, boy, I think Jack Chick made completely the wrong choice with that voice. And then all of a sudden I heard, sometimes I wish I was never born! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of excitable misery there. Well, the whole thing was like, it was just, you know, this big down in the dumps guy. So I figured, you know, Ash from Pokemon would, would be perfect. <laughs> I think we did Darkwing already, um, but this is a, uh, it's it's called Men Compare Women. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They do? They do. <laughs> this is so incoherent. You're right. Wow, this is awesome. Can anybody figure out what the hell this signature for Flicky is? I'm still on Darkwing, who looks like it's like an, it's like an archangel that's sitting on a three-day...